Okay, this is the Breslow and Clark classification of melanomas. And uh, first of all, I need to tell you that this is completely out of date. Um, it's not, uh, it's no longer evidence-based medicine. Um, and it is in fact uh, possibly damaging and causing a lot of patients unnecessary stress. If a practitioner is still using this and asks you about Breslow and Clark's uh, levels, I implore you to tell them that it is out of date um, and offer them up the newer, more up-to-date AJCC's classification. That's the one that uses TNM for tumor size, node, met uh, node involvement, and metastases. It's uh, much more advanced and this is uh, what we should be using today as practitioners. As future providers, I do not think it's acceptable anymore to be encouraging um, older practitioners to be using out-of-date uh, uh, resources like this. So I would very highly recommend that you just offer them um, that information because it can be potentially damaging to patients because you could be telling them that they have a 50% survival rate based on some very out-of-date uh, classification. Okay, but uh, if you want to spend your time still memorizing this out-of-date information, this is the original Breslow depth and Clark levels. And in order to remember that, I have uh, twisted the name into Bres Lewis and Clark with a picture of Lewis and Clark. They're exploring the layers of the skin for melanoma. And so on the left, I have Breslow's depth, which is based on millimeters of invasion of the melanoma. On the right is Clark's levels, and level is because it's based on the anatomical level of invasion of the skin, of the layers of the skin, okay? Um, other sources have uh, said that there is associated mortality rates uh, with each level of Breslow and Clark, but I'm not going to even offer that to you. It's out of date. The bare minimum, if you want to memorize this, is Breslow's depth. Originally, he classified it as 0.75 millimeters, 1.5 millimeters, and 4 millimeters. So those are the three numbers for Breslow you have to memorize. Then you just know that 1, 2, 3, and 4 is between each of those numbers. So Breslow depth of 1 is less than 0.75 millimeters. 2 is between 0.75 and 1.5 millimeters. 3 is between 1.5 and 4 millimeters. And 4 millimeters or greater is very easy. It's just greater than 4 uh, four. Uh, millimeters um, there. So the Clark's level is just that. It's based on the level of the uh, dermis and epidermis. Okay, so we start with uh, Clark's one, which is the epidermis. Two is the papillary dermis. Three is the papil papillary reticular junction. Four is the reticular dermis. And five is subcutaneous invasion. Okay, so uh, but again, I do not want to encourage anyone, any new practitioners, we are the future of medicine and we're not going to prolong these outdated uh, things anymore. The AJCC is a much more complicated uh, staging system that I can't cover. Um, I tried to make a video about it, but it's just, it's too much and it's out of, it's out of our scope of practice, honestly. So um, there is uh, the most simple way I can summarize they still use the Breslow depth um, because depth is still important to the AJCC classification. That's the T, the tumor size. They use one millimeter, two millimeters, and four millimeters. Okay, it's much easier. Well, that's very convenient for us. So memorize one, two, and four millimeters. One is less than one millimeter. Easy. Two is between one and two millimeters. That's super nice. 2 to 4 millimeters is 3, and 4 millimeters or greater is still a stage 4, okay? Now, the simplest way I could summarize this um, is the 5-year the, the, the survival rates. There's 20-year survival rates. They vary widely among sources. I was having trouble getting this, but... The simplest way that I could find to explain it was um, at five years survival, a stage one has a 95%. That means 95% of people survive to five years if they have a stage one. 
Stage two is associated with a 90% five-year survival rate. Three drops down to 70% and four is 50%, okay? So again, if you're telling a patient they have a 50% chance to live to five years and you're using out-of-date um, out of date medicine, I think that's unethical and outright dangerous. So um, again, I implore you to study the most up-to-date methods because we are the future.